David Goggins is a ridiculous human being, and I say this with as much respect as I can pay to the man. So why ridiculous? Simply put, I don't think I've ever seen a single person put their body through as much physical stress as he has, and certainly not to come out of the other end to be recognised as the hardest person in the world. In this video, we delve into some of the psychological traits that allow him to grind through the suffering and what makes him mentally tough, all of which you can apply to your own life too. For anyone not in the know, David Goggins grew up as a child that lacked self confidence, abused by his father and in circumstances that can only be described as tough, all the while struggling at school with learning disabilities. By his own acknowledgement, he was wasting his life away as he got older, living on a diet of chocolate milkshakes and mini donuts, while working in a job he hated as an exterminator. It was on hearing the phrase, in a society where mediocrity is too often the standard and too often rewarded, that something triggered within Goggins, where he was no longer prepared to accept the life of mediocrity, but wanted to push to see what he was capable of. Since then, he's pushed himself beyond perceived limits to have achieved phenomenal results in physical tests of strength and endurance, many of which are recognised as being some of the most challenging events in the world. However, where he's often most recognised is his ability to push past pain and serious health conditions to achieve these incredible results regardless. This really begs the question, how is he able to continue 100 mile races with broken bones while urinating blood? And yes, that did happen. Well, let's look to understand a little about the psychology of Goggins, which is arguably his biggest strength, regardless of his physical capabilities. David Goggins and Goggins Probably the biggest influence for me to create this video was actually in understanding this particular point about David Goggins. I was listening to him speak about his psychological method to stay disciplined, and he mentioned a technique he uses of internalisation that's incredibly powerful. In his mind, he makes the distinction between two personas, David Goggins and Goggins. David Goggins is who he identifies himself with representing the scared boy who grew up in the abusive home with learning disabilities. Goggins on the other hand is basically who he is seen to be today, an incredibly tough individual who seemingly never gives up, even if it was to cost him his own life. In this scenario, he's got an inbuilt function for Goggins, who will push David Goggins to do feats he didn't think possible. Think of it a little like a personal trainer who helps you go the extra mile when you think you have nothing left. This can be an incredibly powerful method of developing discipline and pushing yourself past your limits as the internalisation process helps you disassociate from your thoughts, identifying those which you want to focus on and leave those that hold you back. The 40% Rule On the subject of pushing past limits, David Goggins is known for going well beyond the perceived limits that any individual is understood to have, often going to extreme levels of discomfort. Highly successful entrepreneur Jesse Itzler once invited Goggins to live with him for a month to try and understand what makes Goggins tick. It was during this period that David Goggins told Itzler about the 40% rule, where Itzler says he told him that, when your mind is telling you that you're done, you're really only 40% done. There's usually a strong element of truth to this as well, because our body is naturally hardwired for survival and comfort, which is why we often struggle to find motivation to do things that are hard unless we're really pushed to do so. Think of it this way, pretty much everyone has at some point in their lives been under pressure to do something they weren't sure they could, only to find that when they had no other option but to succeed, they'd usually do it. This is how David Goggins lives his life he naturally ignores the limiting beliefs and pushes to test himself regardless. Sometimes this can lead him to some dangerous circumstances, which I wouldn't recommend repeating, but equally so, the results are clear to see. Visualise There are two elements to visualisation when it comes to David Goggins, as the first is to identify what he's looking to achieve, while the second is why he's looking to achieve it, or his purpose. When Goggins pushes himself beyond his limitations, he's often identified that he'd visualise himself achieving a successful outcome, and identify what he was working towards. 
visualization techniques have been proven to be highly successful by numerous studies, most notably because they help your visual cortex identify opportunities to achieve the outcomes that you visualize. However, more than that it acts as a form of motivation for David Goggins, because he knows what he's working towards and specifically why. He's acknowledged this many times, saying he doesn't want to return to being the limited man he was in his early 20s, but wants to test himself to see what he's truly capable of today. Suffer and work On testing himself to know what he's capable of comes probably the most valuable and repeated lesson that David Goggins has, which is if you want to achieve results you have to suffer and work. As he puts it, there are no shortcuts and you have to be prepared to make sacrifices to get results. In his case, this meant no more chocolate milkshakes and no more mini donuts, all the while feeling intense pain to achieve his athletic results. Only a limited number of people get the luck of the draw in their lives where they get their desired outcomes without having to put in the work, the rest of us have no shortcuts. And this is what makes David Goggins incredible, because he has an unbeatable willpower willing to go further and work harder than most people would even deem possible. Growing up he was a huge fan of the Rocky films, inspired by Rocky's never give up attitude, a metaphor for life summed up in the infamous quote, You, me or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life, but it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward, that's how winning is done. The Cookie Jar Just as Goggins looks ahead to achieve success, he uses his past to motivate him to keep going, a concept he's phrased as the cookie jar. Simply put, in the moment he needs to dig deep and needs a little motivation boost, he thinks back to who he was and what he's achieved, serving to highlight his ability to push past limits to achieve success. There's multiple ways this benefits him and can benefit you as celebrating the little wins by metaphorically putting your hand into the cookie jar to look back at past memories is a treat that releases endorphins in the brain to make you feel better. Likewise, it serves to help you identify your potential, as you use the emotions of the past to spur you on to a better future. Do you follow David Goggins? Let me know in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms, don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads, thanks for watching.